Hello, hello, hello. We're gonna do some tarot. This is for my new Earth Warriors, my Twin Flames, anyone who's more interested in pursuing their soul path than the status quo. Welcome. All right, darling. Let's see what we got going here. Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Um. Hold on. That that was a lot of cards. That's like so many cards. I can't even pick them up. There's so many. Hold on. Yeah, that's too many cards. But uh, the Chariot and the Nine of Cups did come out, so I'm going to keep those. Also, when I was picking them up, the Justice card came out the top of the other deck. <clears throat> so that might be significant. All right, I'm going to hang on to it for now. But the Chariot and the Nine of Cups, you have fast movement toward your dreams, okay? But you are in charge of this. You're at the helm, I just heard which means you're the one making the call on whether on how fast you move and whether you move at all. So if you're too busy holding back and being scared and resisting and making excuses not to go forward, you're not going to reach your wish fulfillment, okay? Justice is trying to come in to um, strike, strike, uh, I don't know what that means, but just like to strike in your life, to, to make that change, to move quickly, okay? All right, Seven of Swords. Uh, I tried to try to pick it up and it wouldn't pick up and instead this came out, so... Seven of Swords in reverse just means that life is not going to be playing tricks on you anymore. You're not going to be um, in a victim mode, a victim mentality. You're not going to be in a position where you feel victimized anymore because your life is changing. All right, here's the there's the justice. I knew it came out for a reason. <clears throat> Don't hold on to that old story. Wow. Yep. Okay. I just felt called to take a look at the bottom before I started shuffling. Spirit's trying to take you somewhere safer with the Six of Swords. Um, but you have to trust the process and let yourself be guided. Do you see how be led somewhere different? Be taken away from where you are. A lot of you guys are just holding on like, no, 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 you can't take me. But you don't understand that actually everything you're afraid of happening has already happened. What you want to happen is trying to happen. But a lot of you are too busy saying no. <clears throat> but the minute you start saying yes, you go from the six of uh, swords to the six of wands, which is like a major transformation. This is being celebrated. This is being lifted up by your community. This represents a war hero coming back in victory. You know, just people celebrating them. Two, three, four on my timer when I looked up. You're going to be waiting for your ships to come in, but you have to play along. You have to play along. You can't make this transformation or this transition without be allowing yourself to be taken somewhere new, allowing yourself to show up for a new path. All right, you have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It was in reverse. I feel like some of you guys are just... Um, it's a little loud. Resisting your power. I'm hearing <clears throat> you're just afraid of having power at all. You don't understand that um, it's safe now. Okay. A lot of you guys, the message I'm getting is a lot of you guys have been um, persecuted in some way or you've stood out in some way that has made you feel unsafe. And that's why you feel like you need to hide. Spirit's saying those circumstances were only there to make you stronger, to create some kind of friction that would force you to grow and now that you've grown slash once you step in and start growing you're gonna see a whole new reality okay a portal card with a celebration yeah your life is about to change but you have to be willing to walk through the fire to get to the other side okay once you do that everything is going to be different it is like walking through a portal to a new life hold on I need both of these yeah the ten of pentacles and the wheel of fortune the Ten of Pentacles with the star on the bottom, okay? The star and the King of Cups and the sun. Okay, it doesn't matter that these are all in reverse, well, except for the Ten of uh, the ten of Pentacles is not in reverse. It was in the upright. Um, but I, don't, I just take them based on feel, and it does, it's either like you're choosing this now or you're choosing this later or you're saying no to it. But you have the Ten of Pentacles, which is financial wealth abundance, the most money that you can the most financial abundance you can get in the tarot deck, all right? The Wheel of Fortune, the Star, the King of Cups, the Sun, and Death. One, two, three, four major arcana out of five cards here. My nose really itches all of a sudden. Oh, my hair just has a way of like getting everywhere, making me feel insane. Okay, Death. <clears throat> you... On the death card, the sun is rising. Yeah, even here, okay? So this is the sun that is rising, but you have to allow this old life to die to get to this sun. This is you celebrating, okay? 
This is you celebrating on top of a horse, feeling happy, your inner child, feeling playful and gleeful and abundant as fuck. Because you have done the healing, you have allowed yourself to shine like the star that you are, okay? And um, your wishes are about to come true. We already had the wish fulfillment card, now we have the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is all about, like I say, sudden change, fast moving change, um, major transformation in a very short period of time. You are standing in your power, owning your emotions, um, you know? And again, this could be guiding you forward if this isn't you already, <clears throat> but there is a lot of magic, a whole lot of magic on the other side of this death, okay? So many of you are so scared, but you know what? This is why it's so important to believe in God or something higher because that's what is going to get you through this. You're not doing this alone, okay? You're not the one creating all the magic behind the scenes. That's God's work. You just have to play along. You just have to show up for the assignment. You have to stop saying no. You have to stop making excuses. You have to stop putting it off and saying, I'll do it then, I'll do it then. You have to do it now because now is the time. Spirit created all this pressure in this moment for us to transform. <clears throat> if you miss the boat, this particular like pressure, pressurized moment of transformation, I don't know when it's gonna come back around, it will, but you're gonna miss some opportunities. You are. And you're gonna miss a lot of growth that's gonna help you become all and tap into all of this magic right here. Financial wealth, emotional abundance, happiness, the happiest card in the deck, healing, freedom, being a star, having, you know, fast changing transformation that completely transforms your life. Like, do not resist this transformation, y'all. You're only hurting yourself is what I'm hearing. Don't hurt yourself. And don't tell God that you know better. And I know that's what a lot of you are doing. You're saying, but you don't understand, God, I need this, I need that. Don't you, don't you think that your guides know that? Don't you think that, that God knows that? Whoa, too many cards, too many cards, too many cards. Okay, hold on a second. <clears throat> Let's try that one more time. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Let's hear from you, okay? I just saw the strength, the world, the hangman, and the wheel of fortune, two cups, the lovers. I mean, this is crazy. I, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I'm taking every single one of these because they all are speaking to me. Your moment of being, of having to have so much strength is coming to an end. You're about to walk through a portal again. Okay. Another portal card, but this has to do with your choice, your decision to come out of hangman mode, to change your perspective, to see things as they are, how protected you are. The wheel of fortune came out again. All right. You have two portal cards. Your life is not going to be the same after this. Okay? You have the lovers and the two of cups right next to each other. You're going to be in divine union with yourself, with God, with your inner child, and with your partner if you need one, if you're looking for one, or this is a deeper connection with the partner you already have. Ten of wands in reverse. This is the end of a hard cycle, a really fucking hard cycle, but it is the end. Trust that. Continue to walk forward so that you can have this wheel of fortune shift and step into this amazing love okay, and divine union. Clarity is coming in after a period of darkness. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment, all right? I, I just did another reading. I can't remember if that came out in that reading or this one, but we, we got it in one reading today already. Wish fulfillment, Eight of Wands, fast movement toward your dreams, okay? The Four of Wands is another portal card. It represents marriage, happy family, walking through a, a portal to your new life that is better than your old life. And this is coming after you have emptied your cup of what no longer serves you, and you have decided to honor your emotions and to um, purge, I'm hearing, purge all the heaviness from your old life. I think that's why it's in reverse. It's like emptying all that water out, get it all out. That's what the eclipses are all about, purge. If you find yourself crying a lot, good. That's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, okay? I can't even deal. I wish I had more time because there are so many amazing portal cards here. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, the world, and the four of uh, wands. And I feel it, and, and the, I just can't even get over it. We have the Nine of Cups twice, the Lovers, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Swords. I mean, come on, the Chariot. You have some major blessings coming in, okay? Get ready for a major blessings and abundance and love. Oops, thought I was grabbing the two love cards. Love, okay? Don't resist this moment, all right? If you need a private reading, sacredmuseproject.com. I love you. Keep going.